the, I don't know, question. So, <laughs> so we're live. <laughs> you have to excuse uh, the didster over here, Mr. Diddy, because this is, he's not on Instagram. He's not on Facebook. Got he's got on his pajama pants. But we wanted to talk about turbo dating. And so um, I was like two seconds from strapping my legs right here. Because I was, look, I, you only have half of them. Look at this face. But I was two seconds from strapping my legs just to make sure he stayed here. Because he's a runner, y'all. He is straight up a runner. So back to turbo dating. So there's this article about turbo dating. And um, there was a new survey from eHarmony and Relate. And over a third, 36% of people newly living with a partner say the past two months feel like the equivalent of two years of commitment. I also feel like 20 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> so with turbo dating though, especially in quarantine, it seems like people are getting to know each other faster. They're basically asking the questions where they're saying like, do you want to have kids? Is religion important to you? You know, all these different things. That's turbo dating you're just doing it in a faster way so the funny thing is is that when I mentioned this the other day two people I think said that they were turbo dating and then a friend slash client of mine said yeah now that I think about it me and my husband's relationship they just got married a few months ago was turbo dating so it made me think oh my gosh we turbo dated we did you hear the leather guys Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so, it's funny. It made me think of the fact that we, I, and I don't condone this, but we were dating for six months, really five, and we bought a house together. Like, we knew we were going to get married. We had talked about all the big things. And before we got married, we bought a house, and it was we went under contract. We were dating for five months. Not the smartest thing to have a huge 30-year large commit financial commitment but we did it um so just wanted to get your um hey jennifer just wanted to get your take on a turbo dating what do you what do you think about that and i wanted to ask mr mr silent because he says nothing around all of you but he he says a lot around me but what um what do you think is important to a guy like if you want to get to know someone fast what's important to to a male, do you think, from your perspective? I'm just asking. What do you think? I mean, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, you know, I've been married for 20 years. and <laughs> We have not been married for 20 years. I can't say. <laughs> Hold on. Before he even answers, let me tell you something first. First off, we wouldn't be we if it wasn't for me, okay? Because I asked him out. Not once, ladies and gentlemen. Not twice. Three times. Dude told me no twice. And third time, and this is what happens when you find out what someone's interested in, right? He said he liked MMA fighting. He did Muay Thai. I said, okay. You know what I did? I went and bought tickets. Well, actually, I didn't. I looked up and I saw there were tickets. And I told him I bought tickets. I didn't really buy the tickets. So I told him, asked him if he wanted to go. And then he said yes. Look at that. So Lenthia said... Him and his husband turbo dated. They were married after eight months. I love that. Yeah, so, so, so he uh, told me no. So, you know, I hate when I read those things where they're like, oh, make sure you, um, women, you don't have to be whatever, like wait for the man. Like, I'm not waiting for anything. If I want it, I want it. Point blank, period. And not, not saying like you're, you're a commodity or anything. I'm just saying go after what you want, whatever it is in life. That's... I love it. I could just sit here and she do all the talk. No, that's my point. But, <laughs> but I, I asked you that. But I remember, though, when I specifically said to you, mm -hmm. why did you say no before? He said you were too aggressive. That's what he told me. He mm -hmm. said you were too aggressive. All right, I'll take that. So back to you and what you think. If someone is, what are the, the questions that you want to know up front about someone? I mean, it's just a point of, you know, the relationship has to be organic to begin with. You know, it can't be forced upon. So, you know, for it to be organic, you know, there's certain things that have to come into play as far as, you know, first of all, you don't know the individual per se. You have to have that physical attraction first. 
then once you get past the physical, then you start peeling back the layers, open up the book, see what the person's really about. But, you know, first and foremost, it's just, it just has to be organic. That's just how it is. So organic. Okay. So there's a lot of game players out there right now at all times. And they force, they force, they force the issue. They force the relationship. So, you know, and some people like that. Some people don't. Well, the thing is, though, I think one of the biggest things is kind of like, what are your non-negotiables? Like, do you want to have kids? Do you want to adopt? Do you want to, like, whatever it is, make that list now. Make that list and know it so that if you do meet someone and kind of say, oh, what are we looking towards? I'm sorry, this leather. <laughs> but, you know, like, what are we what are we working towards? But I think with turbo dating, um, just thinking of the trend is that it means that you're no longer having, you're, excuse me, you're having more in-depth conversations prior to really joining each other see she said all-time high game players ridiculous just so it's almost like what those conversations and they said um you know you're it's encouraging getting real faster with who you're trying to possibly um have a relationship with so i like the turbo dating idea but i think it's like can you, when you said game players, can you be a game player, right? And still try to turbo date. Like, I hope someone wouldn't do that because it's like, what's the, what's the point? It's like, you want to get to know other people. What? Yeah, well, I see it. And then I don't understand turbo dating. You know, I didn't know it had a name to it. It just started and getting a name because it happened in COVID and all these people are moving in together after like two months. <laughs> He's, uh... That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just feel like I made a personal achievement because I've got Diddy on Instagram Live. And, I mean, pajama pants and all. I just came home. Y'all saw me in the dental chair on my story. It happened a little later. But um, but I am very inter- interested to still hear your takes on turbo dating, what you think. But it's interesting, though. One more thing is, like, someone may have swiped right if it was a vegan. Like, oh, never mind. But now I might be like, okay, you eat meat, you eat meat, I'll, you know, eat potatoes, and we'll go about our different ways. Correct. So it's it's kind of like, what are those uh, breaking points? What are those breaking points? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So that is just a whole lot of a uh, combo about turbo dating with me and the guy who you see halfway of right now. Yeah, lean in, brother. Lean in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I just thought that was so interesting and especially to know that I have a friend that did it and to realize that I did it. Um, don't buy a house with who you're dating after five months. That, I shouldn't have done that. But it worked out. It worked out. So you can't say you shouldn't. Okay. Have a great night, guys. Uh, let me know if you need. We're going to come back with more like love stuff and love talks. Okay, maybe not him. But after, after 14 years of marriage and 15 years together, I got something to say. So that's where I'm at. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, look at you waving.